Hello, members of the committee. My name is Cameron Schroeder, and I would like to thank you for allowing me to speak to you today regarding proposed changes to the Endangered Species Act. We are currently experiencing a crisis in terms of the present high species extinction rate. Right now, the species extinction rate is an alarming figure of a thousand times the natural rate, and this is a conservative estimate. This number would have been 20% higher over the past four decades if it weren't for the efforts of species conservation a main contributor to species conservation being the Endangered Species Act. Conservation has been demonstrated to be effective countless times in preventing species loss, protecting biodiversity and ecosystems, and allowing ecosystems to remain intact and in their naturalized state. The Endangered Species Act plays an important role in maintaining biodiversity and protecting species from extinction here in the United States. Currently, the Endangered Species Act is the best tool in regards to conservation in the United States, with countless success stories of individual species being saved due to conservation efforts directly influenced by the Endangered Species Act. A majority of methods of conservation tend to address the number one factor in species extinction, habitat loss. Though this method is a good tool in conservation, it fails to address diverse species ranges, including those of species that have been identified as endangered and threatened. By protecting a certain patch of land, you may only be protecting a species for a part of its yearly range, leaving the species exposed to human influences during the rest of the year and leaving them at risk. A better and less limiting method is to identify species that are threatened, which is done in the Endangered Species Act, and to develop plans to protect them from human influences that directly or indirectly eliminate their habitat and or their food sources. A significant amount of endangered species are in critical condition and are on the verge of becoming extinct. Due to the dire state of these populations, more extreme measures are often needed in order to offset the dismissals of external costs that have occurred over the years and force their populations to shrink and become unstable. These species will often take a long time to recover to their pre previous historical populations and results often do not show immediately. To dismiss these species as lost causes or to remove them from the endangered species list because they are too expensive is to subsequently dismiss the cost of losing these species and the role they play in their environment in terms of ecosystem services. Current estimates put the total worth of ecosystem services annually at $33 trillion a year. And due to the nature of data uncertainties, this is considered to be a conservative estimate. Most of the costs involved with helping a species recover are a direct result of past negligence and ignorance in understanding the effects of our actions on the environment. The costs of our past negligence has now manifested itself and the importance of being conscious of the impacts of our actions on the environment is now known to us, both from an ecological perspective as well as from the perspective of the economic cost of losing biodiversity. The Endangered Species Act was created to protect species that were threatened, regardless of the cost or negative effects action to protect those species would create as far as stopping economic progress. The federal government plays an important role in implementing species saving conservation efforts. Having a central authority for the endangered species regulation limits, the corruption and sidestepping around the protection of endangered species that would occur otherwise and allows a central source for policymakers to draw their science from in order to make informed policy decisions. The Endangered Species Act and the decision made from it need to continue to remain in the hands of the federal government in order for it to continue to effectively serve its conservation goals. With a central authority, the Endangered Species Act can continue to combat the growing threats of species extinction and help to protect biodiversity and the priceless ecosystem services it provides for generations to come. Thank you for your time.